Welcome to Stump the Scientist. Welcome to this week's Stump the Scientist. We're here with our Chief Scientist, Jim Bray. Question this week is from our Facebook friend, Edwin Torres, who wants to know why was it decided that the speed of light be 299,792,458 meters per second and not 300 million since the meter is based on the speed of light? It seems they're making their jobs harder. Mm -hmm. Jim, you have an answer for it? Yes, I think so, Jim. All right. So we'll give it a shot. Interesting question, Ed. When it does seem like people are making their job harder by using such a long number when they could use a round number to do that definition. You're exactly right about the definition. Now, you're asking about a branch of science and technology that we call metrology. Very important branch because it's the study of how we measure things. And naturally, if we don't have rulers and weights and scales, we couldn't measure anything and agree with each other. So it's very important that we have standards. And you're talking now about the meter, the standard of length within the metric system. The metric system is the system that most of the world uses. In the United States, we still use the English system, even though the English have switched to the metric system. And someday we may switch as well. But for the moment, we still use feet. And it takes a little over three feet to make a meter. But getting back to your question, the answer lies in the history of the problem. And it turns out that first in 1791, when they were establishing a meter as a unit of length, the French Academy of Sciences said a meter is going to be one ten millionth of the distance between the equator and the North Pole. Seemed like a nice thing to use. And so that's how it was originally defined. And you can see they did use a nice round number, just like you would like and like you might expect. Now, it turned out, however, that that definition was a little tough to measure. And it wasn't real accurate because the Earth is not really a completely round ball. So in, 19, in 1889, they changed the definition to the distance between two lines on a bar of platinum and iridium, which they kept in a safe place. Now, they made the distance between those two lines as close as they could to the previous definition because they didn't want to change their definition of length because everyone was using that measurement to measure the length of things. Well then, as time went forward, we got even better at measuring things, and so they changed in 1960 the definition again. And now, they used a complex definition. They said it would be 1,650,763.73 wavelengths of light where the light came from krypton, a particular element. Now you see an unusual number creeping in. Why did they do this? Because they were trying to duplicate the distance they had already set up on the bar and with the original definition. So they're trying to keep the same length, not change it, because they don't want to change everyone's measurements. That's why the unusual number. And then finally, in 1983, we got to the current definition, which is the one that you quoted in your question, which says that in 1,299,792,485 parts of a second, in that time, the distance that light travels will be one meter. Why did they pick that number instead of an even number? It's the same reason again. We were trying to keep the meter unchanged from its original definition so that people's measurements all over the world didn't change. And so, once again, they started with a nice even number, but when they tried to keep the link the same using different methods, they had to use these complex numbers, and we got to the one we have today. So the answer to your question is history. Good question, Evan.